Obviously today is Martin Luther King Day. What we're doing today is the Iowa Winter Weatherization Challenge. We're going to be out going to 17 uh, lower income individuals for the most part's homes. Uh, going to be doing some simple things to weatherize their homes and uh, make them more energy efficient, keeping people warmer, reducing their energy usage, and ultimately reducing greenhouse gases, which is part of the reason that, that we're such a big fan of this. This sweep is a metal strip with a rubber blade attached. Measure it to the correct length, cut it, and screw it onto the bottom of the door. Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to This Green Home. We have a very special episode for you today. Today's January 19th, 2009, Martin Luther King Day. And in honor of Dr. King, there's a National Day of Service. We're here with some volunteers from the Iowa Winter Weatherization Challenge. And we're out here uh, increasing the energy efficiency of this home and saving the owner some money. Should we go see what we're doing? This is Kelly Griffin. She's the team leader here of uh, this group of volunteers. It's working on this house. Kelly, can you tell us what you're about to do here? Uh, we've got a drafty window here. Um, it's been broken before. It's been taped up, but it's still letting in a lot of cold air. So we're going to put some of this clear plastic up to block a lot of the draft and seal it up tight. These are compact fluorescent light bulbs. Mm -hmm. they oh, last I about, like them. Yeah, they last a whole lot longer than these regular light bulbs, and yeah. they use a lot less energy. Here we go. I got one to bed. All right. Here. How many hosts does it take to change a light bulb, folks? This back door has a really big gap where there's a lot of cold air coming in. A door sweep. This is going to stop the draft. So it brushes right up against the threshold and trim off the end. It fills in the gap where the door doesn't quite meet the threshold. So when you close it, this little flexible flap brushes right up against the threshold and stops the draft. What this does is this is a wonderful little card. You turn on the hot water on the kitchen sink all the way and it will tell you whether your hot water heater is set too high. Most hot water heaters only need to be set between 120 and 130 degrees, but many times you will find that they're set as high as 180. And in addition to being way too hot and you can hurt yourself with that, that'll end up costing you a lot of money too. You actually have to let this run for about three to five minutes. Window air conditioner units are a big source of drafts. Um, you can never quite get an air conditioner to fit as well into the window as you want it to. Um, so what I'm doing is I've got some silicone, clear silicone caulk that I am putting along the crack. This can be removed later, you just have to peel it out if you take the air conditioner out. Um, but for the meantime, it blocks this gap in between the window and the air conditioner and stops a lot of cold air from getting in. The window sill itself has rotted away over the years. And somebody, I guess, has stuck some plastic in here once to try to stop the draft, but the plastic isn't doing any good because you can see it's crumbling away. So I'm pulling the plastic out and I'm going to put some spray foam insulation in, in, in its place. I feel like a surgeon in, a, <laughs> in an operating show. This stuff, it's extremely sticky. If you get it on your skin, it will stay for days. Nail polish remover doesn't get this stuff off. So I'm going to do this much. That's all there is to it. This is going to expand to about four times the size it is now and fill every gap that it comes up to. So that window is going to be sealed across the bottom now. Here's the air conditioner I just cocked from the inside. Duct tape does not make a good outdoor sealant. Putting my life at risk going under the air conditioner to see what we can do under here. That actually looks pretty well sealed on the bottom. Now at one point this was a good this was a good plastic job, but these things usually have to be replaced every couple of years or so, and I'm guessing this was put up maybe five or ten years ago, so it's outlived its usefulness. And what are you hoping uh, changes after the work we do here today? Well, I hope it doesn't look. get pulled out. I'm definitely going to look at your bathroom window because there was a big gap in that one. I'm going to yeah. put some plastic over put, it um, and use some of the caulk. Yeah, you will put some of the silicone. Yeah, yep. it might help that wet bathroom window. It's a tinker toy. Look at that. That's straight from my childhood. It's a newer window, so it should close pretty well, but it's not actually closed at the top. If you have double hung windows like this, these locks are not only good for security, but they help keep the, keep the windows actually closed all the way. So this was unlocked, and after a time the house settled and this window fell open a little. And I don't think she even noticed it because the curtain was closed. 
So if you just keep this latched all the time when you're not using the window, it keeps that sealed up at the top, keeps this pushed down to the bottom. It's a good size house. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm born here when I was a baby. You were? Yeah. Wow, so you've lived here your whole life? Yeah. Wow. My house now. We're here with Carol, mm -hmm. and we've done a little bit of work uh, getting her house weatherized, and uh, we have some sponsors to thank. Absolutely. We want to thank the uh, Iowa Global Warming Campaign and the ELPC. We want to thank the, um, the Central, Iowa. Central Iowa Recovery <laughs> Network and, of course, Iowa Interfaith Power and Light for uh, organizing and sponsoring this event. Also, the Des Moines Rehabbers Club uh, submitted some volunteers and uh, Thrash's Hardware donated some materials for us. Also, uh, Wellesley Meals on Wheels for uh, helping us find some of these homes. That's right. All right, but especially we want to thank all the volunteers who were out today, of whom these are only a few. Uh, it's been a really great event, and we're very excited about uh, doing things like this in the future. Thank you very much. Uh, that's all the time we have today for This Green Home. I'm Bob. <laughs>